What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ice Navy Drives Edition. Decided to take a quick break to go pick up some food. So I'm heading to Domino's. Decided to take a break for editing today. Um, first off, Happy New Year's. Welcome to 2024. And real quick, just want to take a moment out to shoot a vlog. I may keep this vlog thing going just to answer some questions from time to time when you guys drop them in the comments below. Now, with that being said, today I decided to address a, another topic brought up by you guys, one of my followers. And the question was asked, is this a good time to buy a C7 Z06? And now, I felt that came out of the blue, but let's talk about it. get to the formalities as always my name is show this is ICMV drives edition we are a interactive community meaning if you ask me a question I will do my best to answer it or I may make a video about it if it's an interesting topic today we are going forward with that same mentality and I've decided to shoot a vlog to answer the question is this a good time to buy a C7 Z06 and my answer is yes I decided to do something a little bit different I'm switching up a little bit because I shot the last video and when I got home I realized there was another comment asking me how do I feel like the C8 Z06 market has affected the Corvette C7 Z06 market and again asking about should they buy a C7 Z06 so I decided to combine these two videos and mend them so well on the line so you may see me jump back and forth with the information because I just felt like it didn't make sense to shoot two videos basically covering the same information but not really but now I'm going to mix it all together so is this a good time to buy a C7 Z06 and my answer is yes maybe not as better as it would have been in the beginning part of December not because Christmas sales make a factor but Typically, car season is slow around Christmas time because the focus of most people's money is not a car. Now, since I've shared that common information with you, right now is probably a good time to buy a C7 Z06 only because tax season hasn't really started. The worst time to buy a car, if you ask me, Historically, it's during tax refund season. So that typically starts, I want to say, February through April. Sometimes it even carries over to mid-May. But typically in mid-May, a lot of graduations occur and people focus their change their focus again to spending their money on proms, graduations, whether it's from college or high school and so forth. So May is also another swing point when it comes to buying cars meaning that you can typically find a decent deal in May but getting away from the generalized topic of it I would say it is a good time to buy a C7 Z06 now if you're not looking to spend a lot of money and you're not trying to get caught up in the markup the increase in price when tax season starts the C8 Z06 market has actually, in my opinion, made the Corvette C7 Z06 market a little bit stronger. And the reason why I say that is because that flat plane crank, that engine sound, the power that car is putting down is unbelievable. And really, I don't think there's any American car on the market that, and I said American made car on the market, that actually gives you that same atmosphere of a C8 Z06. But what also has happened is 
a lot of the true purists, and I say purists, who believe in the front engine make of a car and the power and so forth, it's only giving them more reason to say, I don't have to chase the C8 Z06 because they say it sounds too much like a Ferrari, and I'm not gonna lie to you. The car sounds amazing, but I still kind of like the rumble of the American V8 better. But that is truly an opinion based off the eyes of the beholder. And I just happen to feel that way. And I know a couple other people that kind of feel that way as well. So the C8 Z06 has not really made a lot of people feel like they have to give up the C7 Z06 for just a little bit more quote unquote horsepower. The C7 Z06 is still an amazing vehicle. 650 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque. Those are still remarkable numbers. I'll be honest with you, there's not a lot of supercars putting out that type of number to, to this day. So, on the C7 Z06, it's still an actual feat. It's probably one of the cheaper, more high end performance cars you can buy at this point in time. But I believe that if you're looking for one, and Unless you're looking for some type of crazy build or spec, this is a good time to buy one. I think this is the perfect time to take a quick break. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the ICMB Drive Edition community. This is an interactive community, so if you hit me up on any one of my social media platforms, I will do my best to respond to you, and I may make a video based off the topic you bring up. So, become a member. Subscribe to the channel. For all my military members, both active and veterans, I'd like to give you guys a big salute because we know freedom isn't free. And because of you guys, it's the reason we get to enjoy the things we enjoy and do what we do today. So again, salute to all my military family members, active members, and veterans. But let's get back to this video. But what I will sit there and say to you about this is that looking at C7 Z06 sales and sale prices prior to the pandemic, you could get a Z06 cheaper. We still haven't really reached the price range that Z06s were selling at prior to the pandemic. And I want you to understand that. We still haven't reached back to those numbers yet where the C7 Z06 was actually selling for with less miles prior to the pandemic. So when you now go back, and I always have to go back to this phrase too because it's really hard to judge. And I like to call that the post-pandemic car sales because it has not returned to normal business like prior. And a lot of manufacturers have even come out and sat there and said, before they start throwing out all these rebates and discounts, they'll just reduce production to maximize their profits. Now, has this been something that's really been, I would say, kept up? I haven't really stuck and followed the information that deeply to actually to say yes or no. So many people would have thought that once the C8Z06 hit the market, and it has hit the market, it isn't as strong as being on, sitting on a lot of dealership floors. Yes, we're seeing it more commonly sitting on floors, but that is a false representation. And when I don't say false representation, I say false representation because the big answer or the big comment I see now is people throwing out you can get a C8Z06 for MSRP. I can put anything for sale. It doesn't mean you can buy it. And I say that because when you actually reach out to a lot of these dealers that say MSRP, they are not selling this car for MSRP. But for every idiot that wants to come out and argue or tell you that you can buy one because they don't actually take the next step as to try to purchase one, they feel like the C8Z06 is selling the MSRP today. And I will tell you this right here. I'm not a big fan of many used car dealers, but what I will sit there and say to you is that Corvette World in the Dallas area and the Houston area are pretty fair when it comes to selling used Corvettes. So 
if you can go to their website and still see a UCA Z06 above MSRP, that's typically telling you where the market is. You don't have to take my word for it, but what I would sit there and say is just go look because if they're still advertising, now I want you to understand this, if they're still advertising C8Z06s above MSRP, that means they're not selling below MSRP or at MSRP. Corvette World is not going to take the opportunity, or should I say, they're not trying to get stuck with inventory because they're not a new car dealer, so they can't really move it around or shift the numbers the same as a new car dealer could. So that's just a reference point. But back to the key point of this video and my interruption is that the C8Z06 market has kind of made the C7Z06 market stronger and we're now starting to see pricing that shows that as well. But do I believe it's still a good time to buy? And that's why I'm gonna go back to this video. There are a couple of things you should be concerned about and maybe want to pay attention to. And I would say one is the mileage. I still think anything under 30,000 miles, even going back to 2016, would be a good purchase. Um, there are a lot of cars out there that have been babied and maintained. And I say babied and maintained, mean not driven, but maintained as if they were driven 16 to 20,000 miles. That's one thing about the Corvette community is most people take care of their cars and really find those that don't. So most Corvettes are fairly maintained and fairly serviced. So if you look for a C7Z06, I will look for one with the lowest miles possible and then look at the Carfax to see for the most active, um, how do I say it, the most active service history on the report. It's crazy how many times I talk to people who have 3,000 miles on their car in one year and they're doing an oil change. I talk to people that got less than 10,000 miles in their car, they're doing all these big major servicing, but they've never driven the car. So I, that's why I say you can find a lot of cars out there in great shape. And I say be picky with it. Look for the car you desire expect to spend somewhere in the range of now on the back side of this I do want to touch bases on this factor and that is today the C7Z06 is still a monstrous car to drive to own and it is a beast if you're not used to driving with superchargers it's going to be a difference one thing about it is I really hate the fact that, that a lot of people can get their hands on this type of power and never have any true training or understanding about it. That's the part that concerns me, but hey, it's your car, you spent the money, so forth. But respect this vehicle because today, in today's market, the C7Z06 is a lot of car that's not viewed as a lot of car. I think because it's a Corvette and it's front engine, and not saying from the Corvette community, but then maybe even for the Corvette community. A lot of people don't respect the power that this car puts down. It's not looked at like it once was before. I think because the ZR1 came out and it was just such an extraordinary beast, but it was a track-focused car, and a lot of people failed to realize it was truly meant for tracking. But because it was such an exceptional beast that it kind of downplayed or made people now overlook the true power that the C7Z06 possesses. But if you have one, just know you have a unique vehicle. And I'm not gonna say I'm jealous, I just, I'm really proud of you and I respect the decision you made to own this car. It's the one car I said I was gonna get myself as my last front engine car or a sports car to own, but I don't know, I just, I haven't in my mind lately had the same desire that I once had to go out and buy it. But I often think about sometimes downgrading my current C8 to get a C7Z06, but it just doesn't seem like it's the right move. Let's just say it's a lot on my plate, a lot of thoughts in my head, and I go back and forth on this car all the time. 
It's like, go pick up my food from Domino's. Again, I want to thank you guys for just popping in with me on this quick vlog. I really just want to touch base on that question. I don't feel like it was a major long out, drawn out question, but right now, if you're looking to get a sports car just to go back to the, the main purpose of this video, if you're looking to get a sports car, this would be the time to do it. Sports car prices go down in the winter time. They usually hang low into, I would say, end of January, beginning of February. But definitely in March, they're going to go back up. And so even now, it goes back to that saying, where, oh, cars are selling so low, yada, yada, yada. Don't get caught in it because a lot of these people aren't really familiar with how the industry works. These car prices are going to start to go back up. And you're going to look at it like I did once where you missed out on a deal that you should have just took full advantage of. And you may not see it coming back later. That's my two cents. So ICM Drive Edition, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Join the ICM Drive Edition community. Like I said before, this is an interactive community, which means if you reach out to me on any one of these platforms, my social media platforms, the comments below, I will do my best to respond and answer your question. And if the topic is interesting enough, I will make a video. But as always, chase your dreams, build your visions. Remember, it is okay to be unique. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will see you in these streets. Peace.